Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 4.3. Number one, we're asked to solve a rational inequality. And so the first step in solving one of these things is we want to get everything on one side and zero on the other. So fortunately for us, this is already in that form. And so we're going to call the left-hand side our function f of x. And we're going to make a sine diagram. Okay, so how do we make a sine diagram for rational functions? Well, we need to pay attention to two things. Where the function is equal to zero and where the function doesn't exist. Where the function doesn't exist comes from points that aren't in the domain. So if we were to find the domain of this function, we'd set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. We could try to factor, and it doesn't seem to factor nicely, so we can run it through the quadratic formula. The a here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. The b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 2. And the c is the constant term, negative 1. So x is equal to the opposite of b, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 1 times negative 1 gives us a negative 4, all over 2 times a, which is 2. So I get 2 plus or minus the square root of 8 divided by 2. I can simplify the square root of 8 to 2 square root 2 over 2. Then I can break up this fraction. 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 over 2. And so at the end of the day I get x equals 1 plus or minus square root 2. So these are places that make the denominator 0. So our domain would be the x values different from this. So these are going to be values then we put on the number line when we go to make our sine diagram. Okay, the other critical values we're going to put on there uh, is where f of x equals 0. These are the zeros of the function. So I set this equal to 0. And since we have an equation now, I can go ahead and multiply both sides by the denominator. And I'm going to get 1 minus x is 0, which gives me x equals 1. So now I have all the points I need to make my sine diagram. Okay, so to make the sine diagram, remembering we're looking for where the function's positive and negative, and with a rational function that could happen one of two places. It could happen at a vertical asymptote or a hole in the graph, in other words, places where the denominator is zero, or it could happen at an x-intercept, uh, which are the zeros of the function. So the values we need to put on the number line were 1 plus or minus square root 2, that's where the function was undefined, and x equals 1, which is where the function was 0. So we try to line these up on the number line. I'd have 1 minus square root 2 is the smallest of those numbers, then 1, then 1 plus square root 2. And it might help to approximate the square root 2. That's roughly 1.4-ish. Uh, so this is roughly negative 0.4, and this is roughly 2.4. Now, 1 plus or minus square root 2, the function was undefined, so we're going to put our question marks up there. And at x equals 1, the function was 0, so we're going to put a 0 there. So we choose test values. Once again, 1 minus square root 2 is roughly negative 0.4 something, so I can pick a negative 1 to test there something between uh, negative 0.4 and 1, well 0 would work for that. Something between 1 and 2.4, 2 would work for that. And something bigger than 2.4, we could try 3. So I'm going to plug each of these test values into my function f of x. So if I look at f of negative 1, if I plug negative 1 into the numerator, it's a positive. 
When I plug negative 1 into the denominator, I get negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus negative 2 times, or excuse me, 2 times negative 1, which will be a positive 2, minus 1. So on the bottom I get a positive as well, which means I get a positive altogether. Now I substitute in 0. In the numerator I get a positive number. In the denominator I get a negative number. So altogether I get a negative. I substitute in 2. In the numerator I get 1 minus 2, which is a negative 1, so it's negative on the top. On the bottom I get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 2, which is 4, so that's a 0 minus 1, which is another negative, and a negative over negative is a positive. And finally I substitute x equals 3 in. In the numerator I get 1 minus 3, which is a negative. In the denominator I get 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 1, that gives me a positive, and so this is a negative again. Now I go back for my final answer. I look at my inequality. I wanted to know where this thing was less than or equal to 0. So where's my f of x less than or equal to 0? What's well, less than 0 on the intervals I have negatives. So 1 minus square root 2 to 1. Along with 1 plus square root 2 to infinity. That's where they're negative. Now where is it 0? It's 0 at uh, 1 only. So I would not include the 1 minus square root 2 because the function's undefined there. I would include the 1 because it is 0 there. Union. And I do not include the 1 plus square root 2 because the function's undefined there. And we don't include infinity because we never do. And so this is our uh, final answer. So that'll do it for number one.